I'm going to Calhoun to get some water at Walmart. Actually, I'm going to get distilled water, make my coffee with it because that is what I am mandated to do. It is a particularly dreary day today. I'm at Walmart. Look at you, my little babies. my water now. It's time to go on to Aldi's and see what's going on there. Now we're almost at Aldi's, my favorite place to get hamburger chip pickles. Quarter. Joe, this is about the tripod that I bought. <sighs> Good coffee. I ran out of sugar, so I had to use honey to sweeten it. A little odd taste to it, but I like it. This is the unboxing of the Alta Pro tripod. The reason that I'm getting a new tripod is because my old tripod is starting to fall apart. So we just go into the office. I bought it through B&H Camera, mainly to save about 18 bucks on taxes because they gave you free freight and they didn't charge taxes where Amazon did. B&H is probably not my favorite because they tend to send everything signature required, which means I have to be here when it gets here, which is sort of a pain in the butt. This is made by a company called Vanguard. Here's the box that came in. Is, it is of aluminum construction. It's an Alta Pro. I'll put the link at the bottom. I have to apologize as I've already taken it out of the box, which kind of like defeats the uh, definition of unboxing. However, I wanted to show it to you and I'll show you some of the features and why I bought it. This is the box that it came in. That's it. This is the tripod and it comes in and it's handy dandy carrying case. I still have the stickers on them. It's fairly heavy. When I got it out of the box, the handles that you control this with were not in it. I had to put those in. Otherwise, it comes pretty much as you see it already put together. The rotation is very smooth and it goes back and forth. Then there's the mounting hardware. You have a little clip you pull out and this thing slides out. slides out sideways and it stays out until you're ready to put it back in and it snaps in place. To take it out you push the butt, the little orange button and pull it back out and it pops out sideways. Not forward, not backwards. I had a little bit difficulty with that at first because I was used to a different latching mechanism. I wish all the tripod manufacturers would get together and have one standard hold down mechanism. They are similar, but they're not exactly the same. They all have the same size threads and the screw that hooks to the bottom of the camera, but these plates, these latching mechanisms are all different. So you can't just take a camera and flip it on one tripod back to the next, depending upon your need. We all know how we hook them to the camera. Screw it to the bottom of the camera right here. Take your tripod, you just snap it in place. It's wonderful and it's latched in securely. Actually kind of nice. I like the latching mechanism. It's pretty secure because you don't want to drop $1,200 worth of camera equipment on the ground and break it. Ask me how I know. Aim your camera however you like. You can also see that we have little level bubbles. More there. However, I would like to show you the feature that sold me 
on this tripod that none of the other tripods that I own will do. Besides its sturdy construction, I'll show you. Main shaft that goes up and down. You loosen this up and pull this out. So you've got your camera on a stick, which you can use as a selfie, kind of like this. So you can do vertical shots. We can take video in vertical position. Like my lap shot. See? This will come in handy if I'm shooting down in the hood and I want to show you how I'm doing something under the car because that's always been a problem. But this is a big deal. Now to take it back apart, first we'll take the camera out so I don't break this one too like I broke one last week. The next feature that I like that I look for when I get a tripod is the leg extension. Some of them you'll get will have a little screw on there to tighten it down. These are just quick release. They work really well. I like it. It's easy to work with. Now if you want to flatten them out to get, if you have a lot of weight on it, you can push this little button down here and it extends on out to almost 90 degrees. I got a handy carrying bag. You'd think you would be able to fold this up and stuff all of it in here. Au contraire. Let's put this little thing on here so we don't lose it. Okay, we'll snap this back in place. Break it. And we want to stuff it in the bag. Oh, and it grows in there great. Except, guess what? My handles won't fit in there. And the only way to make them fit in is to unscrew them completely and throw them in. Which, to me, not good. You got to do better than that. That's my new tripod. I think I'm gonna like it. I also think I'm gonna like my little cheap plastic job from Amazon that pulls out, because it has some cool tricks. You can turn it into a little handheld selfie camera if you want. Hello, I'm stupid, whatever. So if you got any questions about this, feel free to ask me. Feel free to leave a comment. It's very well constructed. Outside of a couple little annoying things like a, a proprietary plate and the fact I can't stuff it all in my carrying bag is a little annoying but I'll get through it get anything out of this video let me know if you enjoy the video subscribe it costs nothing there's no obligations or just leave a comment this is my cool tripod <laughs>